Hi, my sweets. Welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. And a big shout out to all my new subscribers. Well, today is gonna be part one of my fall baking series. Cinnamon spice and everything nice. Now, not everything will contain cinnamon, but I guarantee you, everything will be nice. So you want to stay tuned for all my future videos. Um, as you notice, today, my t-shirt says squat on it. And there's three witches. Do you know what movie this is from? It's from the movie Hocus Pocus. That's right. And I think there's even a part two out of the movie, but I'm not really sure yet. So in honor of the three witches, the Hocus Pocus movie, I'm going to make a simple, easy, delicious dessert that is called Hocus Pocus. I think I'm going to call them, well, you can call them Hocus Pocus Buns. Um, yes, we're going to call them Hocus Pocus Buns. And why are we calling them Hocus Pocus? Because there's magic in them. And you keep watching and you'll see the magic right before your eyes. So what do you say? Should we get started? Cameraman, are you ready? Ready. All right, let's get started. But before we do, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go down below and smash that red subscribe and the little bell next to it, hit it twice, and that's it. You'll be a subscriber and you won't miss any of the future episodes because YouTube will send you a notification. So, what do we need for these hocus pocus buns? Well, the first thing you're going to need is crescent rolls. So I happen to have here Pillsbury crescent rolls. And as you can see here, I started to roll them out on my little board. Now, the next thing you're going to need is marshmallows. The regular size marshmallows. So here I have some marshmallows, whoopsie, in my bowl here. Bad diva. And I even threw in a few pumpkin ones I found. Mm. But <laughs> you don't need pumpkin ones. I'm just going to experiment with something today. Bad witch talking with marshmallows in her mouth. Anyway, what you're going to need is about a half a stick of butter. I call this liquid gold that you're going to melt. I melted it in the microwave. We're going to need, to need a tablespoon of cinnamon. Put that in there. And we're going to need just about mm, two tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to put them all together here. Now I've seen this recipe made without the flour. And you can try that if you want, but I like it with the flour. So I'm going to mix all of the cinnamon, the sugar, and the flour together until I get it all combined. So what you're also going to need is you're going to need a cupcake tin, which I've already sprayed with some Pam nonstick spray. Put that down here and mix all this up. So I think you're going to really enjoy my fall baking series. I have both um, regular recipes on there. You're going to see some low carb and you're going to see some keto. So there will be something for everyone. I like my little witch hat. I've had this for years and I pull it out every year for the season. But it was perfect, I thought, went with my squad shirt. So anyway, I have all this mixed up. Okay, looks good. Smells good, that's for sure. All right. Now these are so easy to do. I think you're going to really be surprised. 
So you'll have to stay tuned because you want to see the magic part of why we're calling this Hocus Pocus Buns. So this is all mixed up. Let me put it aside. All right. Now I'm going to swing my crescent rolls over here. And you're just going to separate them, you know, right where the line is on the crescent roll to make a triangle. So you'll have your triangle that looks just like this. So let me move these over a little bit. And maybe the cameraman can get a close up of what I'm going to do. All right. The first thing we're going to do is get our marshmallows over here and our liquid gold, our melted butter. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to dip our marshmallow into the melted butter. And then I'm going to swirl it around my cinnamon and sugar mixture. And then I'll show you, I'm going to put it on the narrow side of the crescent roll and we're going to start rolling. So let me see if we can get this one. You think you can zoom in on this cameraman? All righty. So I'm going to dip it in the liquid gold, my melted butter. That's very important. Okay. Now we're going to roll it around in our cinnamon and sugar mixture. Let's see how we have that here. Now I'm going to put it on the narrow part of the crescent roll. And I'm going to pick up the end and start rolling towards the wide end. Rolling, 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 <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. There we go. See how simple that is? And when I get to the end, I'm going to pinch the sides together just like this, but you don't want them open. See? Just fold it over, pinch the sides. And if you need to pinch the top a little bit, you can. And this is what we're going to end up with. Now I'm going to take my cupcake tin that I've sprayed, put it up here. I'm just going to dip the bottom of my roll into a little tiny bit of the melted butter. And I'm going to place it right in the well of the cupcake tin. Can you see that cameraman? Alrighty, and we're going to continue doing that with all of them. Now, the crescent rolls here, let me see, I believe there is, let's see how many are in the package. Hmm, I believe there are eight. So obviously, if you want to make more, because I think these are going to disappear, get it? Disappear really fast, you might want to double your recipe. So here we go, I'll do one more for you, and then I'll do the rest off camera. So dip this into the melted butter, into the sugar cinnamon mixture. Mmm, looks good already, and we haven't even done anything yet. Have any of you seen the movie Hocus Pocus? I think it came out in, sure, like 1993. It's a very, very popular Halloween movie. Um, if you're looking, I think it has Bette Midler in it, um, Sarah Jessica Parker. I'm not sure who the other witch is. We're going to put this on the, um, but it's a great Halloween movie. going to put it on the end, the narrow end. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Here we go. See how easy this is? Look at that. Got to the end, pinching the sides closed. Fold it over, pinch them closed. There we go. Dip it in a little bit of butter. And in your well it goes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish doing these off camera for you. And then I'm also going to do a few of them just to experiment. <laughs> I found these in Walmart. I want to see their little pumpkin marshmallows. I'm going to make a few of them with the pumpkin and see if it really tastes any different. I don't know if it will. But anyway, then I'm going to bake them in my 375 degree oven 
for about 12 minutes or until they're lightly browned. And then I'm going to take them out of the oven and show you what we do next. So don't go away. Okay, I took these uh, Hocus Pocus buns out of the oven. They puffed up. Um, and I'm going to take them out of the pan now and put them on this plate. So let's see how this goes. Look at that. Oh, can you see that cameraman? Look at them. Oh, yeah. So delicious looking. Okay. This happens to be one I tried in the pumpkin. I'm going to put that off to the side. Let me get the others out. Now you're saying to yourself, okay, Diva, so what's the big deal? Why are they called Hocus Pocus Buns? Well, they're cool. Oh, look. They're called Hocus Pocus Buns because the marshmallow that we put in the middle before we baked it disappears. That's right. Hocus Pocus No Marshmallow. That's why they're called Hocus Pocus Buns. Get this one out. Now you might have a couple, like I have a couple here where the marshmallow did squirt out the end, but that's okay. It's no big deal. Look at this. Oh, that's just a beauty. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get this out. I would suggest that you make a double batch of these because I can already tell that these are going to go in a heartbeat. So let me get these out and I'll be back in a minute and we can do a taste testing so don't go away. So here we have them, our Hocus Pocus buns. They sure smell good. Now I prefer to eat them plain like this. There are some people that like to make a little icing um, with the confectionery sugar, the milk, and the vanilla and sprinkle it on the top, but um, I'm not going to do that today because I think they're sweet enough the way they are. So I'm going to do a taste testing now and see what I think. So let me take this one out in the middle. Mm, it's a little hot yet, so I'm going to cut it with this knife. Ooh, they're very hot, very hot. And I can't really show you. There you go. Ta-da! There's no marshmallow in the middle. You see that? Focus, focus. Magic. Ooh, no marshmallow in the, in the middle. So I'm going to taste this baby and let you know. Oh, looks so good. Let you know what I think. Let me take this part. Mmm, they sure look good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, let me tell you, I'm not kidding. These are three thumbs up. These are so delicious. The outside is a little crunchy. The middle is gooey. Mmm. The marshmallow melted into all that cinnamon and sugar. Ah. Uh, so good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So. Mmm. Really good. You have to make these. You saw how easy they were to make. And they're so delicious. I mean it. Make a double batch because these are going to fly out of here just like a witch on a broomstick in two minutes. So anyway, mmm. So good. Make them. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my episode two on my fall baking, cinnamon spice and everything nice. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all. Oh God, these are so good. I'll see you all oh, very soon. Toodle.